What's up guys? Welcome to the sweet outdoors. It might seem like it's the back porch edition, but actually we're in Daryl's Bar and Grill. Got a little treat for you today. It's uh, something I've done before, but not quite like this. It's going to be a little different, and it's mainly because of the seasoning I'm using. Plus, I'm bringing you. Okay, today, the treat. Let me grab this and show you. you know what that is? That's venison, guys. That's backstrap right there. That's thick cut bacon. We're going to do what I like to call venison bacon bombs what that is we take the cubes of venison wrap it in bacon shove a toothpick through it and we're going to season it with something a little different today Bow. grill mates by mccormick's sweet and smoky never tried it we're going to try it so let me get it set up and you know I'll bring you back guys come on Bow. okay so what we're gonna do first we're gonna take our deer meat and we're gonna season it up a little bit then we'll wrap it in bacon then we'll shove the toothpicks in there keep everything held together and then we're gonna put a little more seasoning on the outside so let me angle you down so you see what's going on can you see what's going on? How's that? Okay. There we go. Take our little deer meat here. And we're just going to... Ooh, that comes out pretty good, don't it? Bring it on there. There, do it like that. And we're going to do them all like that. My uh, son went out on the property a couple of days ago and was able to put a deer down. He's definitely having better luck than I am because, well, he gets to spend more time out there than I do. But I was able to talk to the property manager today. I went out there to put some uh, feed in my feeder. And we're going to start doing some, wait for it, we're going to start doing some overnight camping trips out there, guys. There are going to be some single solo overnighters, uh, you know, different spots, trying different things, different gear. I got something very special in mind for you guys, so it's something y'all can look forward to. Uh, there's a pond out there that I tried today with my little micro fishing rod and caught nice little bass. It would be perfect for a quick lunch or nice little breakfast. So that's something that I'm going to be adding to the videos as well. Some nice fishing breakfasts and lunches and all that good stuff. So, oh man, this is looking good. Like I said, I've never tried this seasoning. It is a first for me. Uh, I've tried many of the other grill mate seasonings and love them. So it's got to be good, right? Sorry for the sniffles and the voice, but I'm trying to get over this flu I've had that my wife now has. And then Christmas is coming up and we're going to have the grandkids all three of the grandkids so that's going to be fun as well okay some people think I talk too much during these cooking videos but uh, I like to explain stuff a little bit now we're going to take and just wrap our deer like such and put our toothpick in just like that venison bacon bombs 
I mean, I'm, I've heard them called by other names and stuff like that. But this is what I call them. These are mine. I already told y'all that how I feel. Now, some people don't eat venison. My wife in particular. There's a lot of people out there that don't eat venison. That might think this would be a good recipe with something else. And you are absolutely correct. Go get you some nice choice sirloin or well, pretty much whatever kind of steak you want I do not prefer I do not recommend to use stew meat unless you like you know just sitting there chewing on it forever but what makes this delectable treat so nice deer meat has very little fat so when you wrap it in the bacon, that delicious wrapping, basically a gift wrap because what it is, but when you wrap it in the bacon, the fat from the bacon soaks into your meat, your deer meat, or your beef, or bison, or elk, or bear, or whatever. But it just soaks in there and it soaks up all that nice, delicious, heavenly bacon fat. And just makes it so much better. Now, you can grill these, smoke them, whatever, today because of time restrictions. They're going in the oven. We're going to preheat our oven around 400. I will cook these for anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes. Just depends, you know, we'll have to check them. But it definitely shouldn't take no longer than 40 minutes. And believe me, you will love these if you give them a try. If I had enough, I'd invite you over. But I don't, so I can't. Talking with my brother, Damien, over at Live Your Truth. We've got a couple of video ideas in the works for you guys. For my channel, for his channel, uh, do me a favor and go over to his channel, Live Your Truth, and go ahead and like and subscribe to his videos as well. Oh man, these look delicious. That seasoning smells really good. It's supposed to be the perfect mixture of sweet and spicy. Now, one thing I am contemplating doing is before I t as when I take them out of the oven, I might douse them with just a little spicy barbecue sauce that I enjoy so much. Give them that extra kick. And there we go, guys. Check that out. I don't know about y'all. But I think it looks damn good. So now, I'm just going to give a little sprinkle of our seasoning on top of our bacon. Don't worry about the bottom because it's already got some. Mmm, boy, look at that. All right, we're going to put these in the oven, like I said, 400 degrees, about 30 to 40 minutes. And uh, you know me, guys, I won't hold out. I'll bring you back to it. Stick around. I hope y'all ready for this one. What a good. A good. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut one off. 
the stick, cut her open, let you take a look see. I've already tasted one. That seasoning, it's the shiznits. All right, there we go. Look at that. Oh yeah. Bacon wrapped venison. Mm, 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 mm. The bacon grease soaked into the meat adds that flavor tender juicy oh my god good stuff guys like I said you can also try beef whatever else you want to try with a good nice sirloin cubed up like this you're good to go hope you enjoyed this I know I am do me a favor, like and subscribe, hit that notification, give me that thumbs up, do all that good stuff for me guys, download and share, check us out on Facebook, Sweet Outdoors, check out my community page, got some polls and stuff on there, you can interact with me, we can talk, all that good stuff, be safe, God bless, get outside people.